All right, let's get down to business. And this one really kind of hits home for me because today I'm gonna to be showing you how to recover deleted videos on a PC. Let's get started. So I think we can all agree that shooting video is pretty awesome. In my opinion, it's the best way to store a memory. And if you're like me and you get to do it for a living, it's that much more fun. Ugh. But when you have any media or data or videos in this case stored on a drive or a card of any kind, things can and eventually will go wrong. And if and when that happens, you should arm yourself with the knowledge and the tools that you need to actually be able to recover from something like that. And that is exactly what I'm gonna be teaching you today. But there's one thing about video recovery specifically that we need to touch on real quick. See, the whole goal here that we're trying to avoid is we're trying to avoid overwriting our files. And this is done when you use a drive past the point where you actually delete files. Because when you delete them, they're not actually gone. Rather, they're just hidden waiting to be overwritten by the next video or, or you know, photo that you take. And so when you're going to recover files from an SD card, a CFast card, an SSD, whatever it is, you wanna stop using it as soon as possible. This is essentially going to prevent you from doing any more damage to the files that are already gone because they're extremely vulnerable in their deleted state. And so that's one of the biggest pro tips that I can give you is essentially just to hold off on using that drive or that card or that disc for now until you have the ability to run through this entire tutorial all the way through. Okay, so with that out of the way, what is the best tool for the job? Well, when it comes to recovering deleted videos or really any deleted file for that matter, the software that I always come back to is Disk Drill. Disk Drill is a piece of software for both Mac and PC, and believe me when I tell you that you're getting one of the best of the best. In fact, for all PC users, you can start using Disk Drill and recover up to 500 megabytes of files for free by using the link in the description below. But as long as we're talking about recovering video today, the sheer number of different file types and drive types that are supported by Disk Drill is truly staggering. Whether it be an SD card, a CFast card, an internal drive, an external drive, an SSD, a mechanical drive, really whatever it is, even directly off of your camera, recovery is possible. Then as far as file types go, all of the basic file types like MOV, MP4, MJPEG are all supported. But even things like raw video, like Canon RAW, Blackmagic RAW, and other types of less common file types that are all under the video category are all supported by Disk Drill. So that sounds pretty good to me. So let's go ahead and download and install Disk Drill. All right, so once you've downloaded and installed Disk Drill, go ahead and open it up. Now, while I should point out that this video is specifically targeted towards all of my PC friends out there, if you are running a Mac, there is a tutorial that I've made specifically for you guys, which you can follow that is 99% duplicable there as it is here. It's just a couple little changes and a few tweaks you need to make, but through and through the process at its core is mostly the same. I just wanted to point that out. And also that video will be linked in the description down below, just in case you wanna check it out. But anyway, let's get back to the tutorial. So once disk drill is open and you reach the main page, you'll see something called the disk list. All the drives connected to the computer in the middle, feature selector on the left, scan selector and scan start are on the right. All right, so now at this point, if you have not already connected your drive that has all of your video files on it, to then go ahead and do so now. And once you do, it will show up in the disk list here. And once it shows up, go ahead and select it, select your scan method, click search for lost data. All right, so now that the scan is running, it's actually already found about 436 video files and counting, but it's a very big drive. It's about a terabyte in size. So we're just gonna go ahead and let it scan and I'll come back to you once it's finished. All right, so once the scan is finished, you'll get a brief view of what was found right here. But to actually review the files, go ahead and click this button at the top right here. So now what we can do is we can actually browse all of the files that have been found by Disk Drill, and we can actually browse them by category. You can filter by file type on the left hand side just by clicking the video tab, which will show you all of the video files that were found during the scan. You can browse through the folder contents and look through everything that was found by Disk Drill. Okay, now one thing that I need to say real quick before we move on is you need to make sure that your files are previewable. And what this means is that your files are gonna be 100% intact if they are previewable. 
Now for some of the more complex file types like raw video, for example, those likely won't be previewable, but for some of the more regular file types like MOV or MP4, those will likely be previewable inside of Disk Drill. And if that's the case, you know that those are 100% recoverable by Disk Drill guaranteed. So that's an important step that you need to make sure of before you move forward. Just thought I would clear the air on that. So once you find the files that you want to recover and have verified that they are previewable and ready to go, go ahead and put a check mark next to them. Then go down and click recover. Choose your save location and click OK. Now just make sure that when you're choosing your save location that it's not the same location that you're trying to recover from. That's also really important. Again, we're trying to make sure we don't override those files, which is something that, as I said in the beginning, we're trying to avoid. So again, make sure you don't recover them to the same location you're trying to recover from. Very important. And now as you can see, the files have been completely recovered and are playable and totally 100% intact. All right, there we go. That is how you recover videos, deleted videos from anything, an external drive, SD card, internal drive, hard drive, SSD, whatever it is on a PC. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you found it helpful, be sure to let me know down below by leaving me a like. And also if you have any questions, concerns, or comments, always be sure to leave those down below in the comments section. I really enjoy reading your comments every single video. But that's gonna be it for this video. My name is Andrew and until next time, thank you for watching. Thank you.